and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Bandal Tree Abyss. Uh, this is going to be a, you know, it's going to be a meme tier deck. You may be thinking Bandal Tree Abyss, what's that? That means we are playing two copies of the Bandal Tree and two copies of the Howling Abyss. Putting these together, we're going to have both landmarks that are going to be able to create either random level two champions or random um, followers from new regions and, you know, basically use both of them to win. Maybe we'll have awesome level two champions that'll win the game, or maybe our champions that we're creating are also going to be different regions. And then the Bandle Tree makes different regions, and we combine those together and quickly win with the Bandle Tree. So that's what we have. We're going to be playing kind of a con like a control-ish deck because we want to um, play a longer game so that we're able to have time for the Bandle Tree and Howling Abyss. So instead of playing Bandle City Mayor, we're going to be playing Avalanche. That was kind of like the thing. It's like, do we go Vandal City Mayor route or Avalanche route? And we're going to go Avalanche route. And since we're going Avalanche, we're going to go like Braum and Trundle. Braum and Trundle are great at blocking um, with the regeneration. They also don't mind the Avalanche. So we'll go with those for the champions. And then we'll have more removal, removal Buster Shot, Mini Morph, um, Pokey Stick, that kind of stuff. We'll have a little bit of Frostbite and just Utility with the Three Sisters. We're still playing Conchologist and Loping Telescope because these two cards are just so so good, even though we're playing Avalanche. We're still going to have them for like little blockers and stuff. And Conchologist in particular, I'm excited about this one with Freljord because Freljord has lots of amazing spells that cost three or less, whether you know, all the different Frostbite or Protection and things like that. So excited about Conchologist for this match up or like for this deck. One Troll Gifts to make Braum a lot better. Um, it's all Trollgus is also good with Trundle, but it's not something that we want to, you know, probably don't have room for a bunch of them and, and things like that. But we can surprise people with a Troll Gifts Braum, make it suddenly a 2 7 challenger. 2 7 challenger is really nice. Tavern Keepers heal the Nexus, Aloof Traveler exists a little extra draw, Pathways for draw, so we can help find Bandle Tree and Abyss. And that's the deck. So here we go. It's the Bandle Tree Abyss. Let's go play five games. Okay, Ezreal Vi is our first opponent. Ezreal Vi is a, a good deck with like a Station Archivist deck. This one... Um, they are playing Mini Morph, but I kind of want to keep the Troll Gifts for Braum. But we want to find our two mana units and Braum and then our Landmarks. That's kind of the stuff that we want for this matchup. Too many yet. Man, this Loping Telescope card's pretty good. I don't really have any other targets for Pokestick, but I still want to trade. I think because then that's not them using a removal spell on that, right? Like they're an Ezreal deck, I want them to have less Ezreal targets. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Yeah, got rid of a shelf folk. Good, good, good. That's why you always carry another pair of goggles. Oh, that's why? I was wondering why you would do that. I to myself, why would we carry another pair of goggles? And I just couldn't figure it out. Spell. So they uh, they only have one spell in the top five. Okay, that's a thermogenic beam. Smashing. I want to play Howling Abyss. A missing piece. Okay, looks like we'll, we will have time to do that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I guess I'm going to have nine cards. So, I'll make the Howling Abyss, but then we're going to... Oh, I should have played the Troll Chant. I should have played the Troll Chant there to save it. 
Because actually now we'll burn this top card of our deck. Yeah, I really should have played that Troll Chant. Oh, Trundle, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Trundle. So rude. We can do this. I mean, burning a Trundle and then our Howling Abyss getting blown up. That's kind of rough. Rough set of circumstances there. You get all that? This is my choice. Holly Abyss! Yes! We know they're gonna have a thermogenic beam that's gonna be coming pretty soon. Playing one troll chant. The same calling card from our other case. Um, that does create final spark. Ooh. Okay, so they shouldn't have played that. Like they're, I think they're gonna thermo the Lux, but now it's only gonna be a six mana thermo. So now my troll chant saves a, a six damage thermo. Okay, or not. Lux with Mini Morph is a great combo, right? Because Mini Morph gets you a final spark and turns their thing into a 3 3, so the final spark kills it. No more holding back. That's actually a really cool combo, is Mini Morph Lux. We do have nine pup caps. And I have the exact amount of mana to be able to do that and still have mini morph. Yes, mini morph that thing. Man, that's an awesome combo. Let's go. That was cool. Howling Vis is awesome. Yeah, that worked out really well. Okay, we got Viego Thrash again. A control deck, so same kind of thing. Except for I, I do want Mini Morph more than last time. But same kind of mulligan decisions. Um, I can see keeping Trundle Troll Gifts. No, we'll just send it back. We'll send it back. We want our two mana units. We want Mini Morph. Howling Abyss. Yeah, so <laughs> that combination is. Uh, oh, wow. Get a Brittle Steel. Aww. I was gonna I was gonna be able to block Brittle Steel. Hush Hush plus Mini Morph is Six mana, you get, or so sorry, Hello. Lux. Lux plus Mini Morph is for six mana, you get Hush, Vengeance, and Blade's Edge. Yeah, that's your combination. All right, let's just go ahead and do this. What do we have to do? We have to create two cards this game. These are so now that's two credit cards. Yep. 
She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. Bow to your king! You matter so little. Aloof. You dropped something. Get rid of a Hydrovine. Uh, vengeance, come on, get rid of Hydrovine. Nothing's tougher than a troll. It's not a bad brittle steel. is a big problem. I was going to have any more for Hydrovine or the second Viego. Alright, so what, you're six mana? I have five left over. I don't really want to play the Ice Pillar, because then the Ice Pillar means they get to challenge, they get to have the Screen Glade Lookout challenge it. Let me at him. I will find her. Go away. Good, good. Keep them from drawing two, because they only have three cards in their hand. Oh, <laughs> okay. So turning the Spirit's Refuge into a draw two. So I'm still, I'm not too mad at that. Katarina. Katarina. I wish I had something that costs like one mana or I could pass or, I could, you know, because I could Ice Pillar or something larger. I don't really want to just Ice Pillar this, but if I pass, they probably pass, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I can't really pass. So that's too bad. I'm just going to Ice Pillar that thing, I guess. See, that's why I want to Ice Pillar. I wonder if they would have passed also. If I would have passed. The trolls are going to war. Smashing. I'm gonna wait till next round to show them the Katarina. Might as well kill this thing. You're boring. You're boring. Bring the others. Affirmative. Now we can play Katarina multiple times.
All right, so like we're do definitely doing that. for that four mana. Okay. So let's see. The so next round, this ice pillar is going to give that vulnerable. The Viego, that is, I'm talking about. I can also give Viego vulnerable right now with this thing. So but Katarina, I can kill Thresh. Yeah, that's probably worth it. We'll just do that. Never in. And do three more damage to them. Surrender. They're gonna get this encroaching mist either way, you know, from one of these things dying. And then make sure that, you know, now we're gonna definitely be giving that thing vulnerable. Oh, I don't even have room to make a new champion or anything. This is eight. Man, this is so difficult. Alright, so that's eight, so I'd have five extra mana. Yeah, I could freeze it. Then I'd only be able to get like one rally attack if we freeze it. But I don't I don't mind that. Because that, that allows me to attack with the Fizz as well. I guess we could get two rally attacks if we don't Pokey Stick. I was thinking that we were going to be Pokey Stick casting Pokey Stick. I guess if we don't cast Pokey Stick. I need to have the Katarina first. My Katarina's just gonna die. I need to have the Katarina before the Fizz, because the Fizz makes the Chum the Waters, with, which fills my hand. I realize that afterwards. Okay. So, sorry. Sorry, Cat. Too many Chumba Waters. Fizz is killing me with my hand. I don't get any new cards. Ah, right, we don't really need Avalanche. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. Okay, they surrendered. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I'm probably done. I could have like passed and kept Judgment available, or. Just play a bunch of stuff from my hand, and I think I was just gonna play a bunch of stuff from my hand because I don't think I didn't. I was trying to do the math, seeing see if we like we had to have judgment. I don't think we had to have judgment. And our deck's looking cool. So we had Howling Abyss, uh, Lux, the first game. Howling Abyss, Katarina, the second game. I assume that they're also going to be an Avalanche deck. Um, as far as Celestials... Silence something? I don't know what we're going to silence. Maybe a Ice Pillar? But it's just, it's either that or the 7 mana 4-2 Elusive and I um, wasn't thrilled on putting a 7 mana card in my hand. I don't know. I guess they're they're probably going to be like a Targon's Peak deck, so maybe we should just be taking the 7 mana card. Yeah, they're a Targon's Peak deck. I don't have any ways to destroy... Can you find anything? No, I don't have any ways to destroy Landmark. Hey! 
Hey, what about that? Never mind. Played perfectly. How about that? More lift drop. Played perfectly. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Bye bye, a really soul pie. You dropped something. I dropped everything! <clears throat> we have to keep getting rid of, rid of these 10 mana cards from their hand. They made something cost zero. We're not going to be able to hit it with the loot travelers anyway. Yeah, so they just want brittle steel out of their hands because they don't want to target that. Scourge out of there. All right. Zero cost mini morph. We'll take that. So they still have their zero cost card. But we don't know what it is. <laughs> Who would win in a fight? A celestial dragon or two lost dog people? Still haven't played whatever costs zero. It's another star shape thing. I kind of help them out with that. Grant all allies in your deck plus two plus two. I don't even know if that's gonna like do anything, but that like that's just kind of cool. I don't know if any of these other things do anything. Let's take a peek at life beneath the waves. I don't think I've ever cast Ancestral Boon. Rude. Destroy all landmarks? Ah, uh, I didn't. Did not choose to destroy all landmarks. Is it the boosters? Who knows? Oh, see, they played that to refill eight. They, they should have spent eight mana first and then played that. Then they would have refilled eight mana. Ice to meet you. Huh. They didn't do that. So they're revealing the Scourge, a.k.a. about to get mini-morphed. Should I just play this Ancestral Boon to get it out of my hand? Probably. Yeah, guess we should. All right, that was cool. Cool card.
Level up Pike. I guess. So they spent 10 mana on that, so that means these things are the things that cost zero. It's gonna have all those go away. I can I can mini morph the She Who Wanders, then it goes away also. But it's basically do I wanna do I wanna wait for the mini morph for the scourge? I could probably just use it on the She Who Wanders. Nothing's gonna be a problem. When I kill an enemy, I strike with it. Alright, Pike, you're not so good. They thought they were safe. <laughs> okay, their deck went bigger than us. We tried. We tried. To the stars. But I think their deck went a little bit bigger than ours. You're on the list. All right, so we're gonna make our champion first before things cost zero. It is easy, see? Nautilus. One zero mana Nautilus, not zero mana troll chance. Now they'll pay attention. Oh really? Now they will? They weren't thinking about doing that previously for any reason or Echoes from the deep. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be making that 3-3 attack. I was hoping to sneak it in there that they wouldn't block, but they, they did block. I was actually planning on giving the Nautilus regen. Maybe not. Oh, I should have I should play this other troll chant also. Sorry, I got distracted there. So I want to get these troll chants out of my hand so they're not costing zero. Alright, Aurelian Soul, you got me. So I shouldn't use them anymore when I did. GG's Targon's Peak. <laughs> we played three aloof travelers making them discard three ten mana cards, and they still just played a whole bunch of more ten mana cards. They still played three other I do ten mana cards. Very slow deck, but they're also a very slow deck that went much bigger. And so they won. Not a bad hand. I don't know exactly what just Mono Aphelios is gonna look like. I could see Avalanche putting in some good work against a bunch of like the two mana three one nightfall that refills two mana. I'm just not sure. I, I kinda I just kinda like the hand though. We'll go ahead and keep it. Yeah, Troll Gross, Troll Gifts Braum is such a great combo. Only got the one Troll Gifts in here. But yeah, it's a good combo. So that's what I was talking about, seeing, like I could see them playing those kind of cards. Hey Cyclone, I hope you had a good day at work though. Yeah, our, our auction Renekton deck was pretty good. It probably should have been in ranked instead of in normal, but that's alright. Got a good record with it. 
You think our opponent's playing out of the way in Lamb's Respite? I suppose that's a possibility. I wouldn't expect it. Alright, so that Avalanche is a spell. Let's get that out of our hand. We don't want, we don't want spells in our hand. We just want... <laughs> we just want units. Moonglow Braum? That sounds kind of cool. Or we just get more bodies out there for, for more blockers. I kind of feel like after a couple of rounds, after we like Braum, Trundle, we'll have the bodies. Gonna need this tavern keeper. Buster shot. Man, their their hand is lots of nightfall cards. We need to be able to block more fearsome units. Come on. There we go. Right, this is looking good for us. We got this big Braum. But they can... They can always get a whole bunch of elusives. Or, like, they can get a bunch of elusives and stuff like that. I'm gonna try this put this hit. A nine five fearsome? Okay. I guess I'm not challenging that one with Braum. I mean, I guess I could have. Braum was 10, but I don't want Pill, Cas Pill Cascade killing it. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Can I choose neither? This levels up Trundle. I know they can use their 9-5 and kill my Ice Filler, but I'm not that I'm not that worried about that. I'm like leveling up the Trundle and kind of giving them some more information before it like giving me more information before I do anything else. Um give all units minus three minus zero. That's probably bad against a fearsome. It's my opponent playing a fearsome thing. Our deck doesn't do a good job of um, turning, you know, turning this into two, two mana. I only have loping tele, you know, we have the two regions, and then loping telescope is Targon, the loop traveler is tilt over and on, and then of course all of our critic cards from the Bandle Tree and the Howling Abyss, and another. 
Help is on the way. Let's talk about your town. We're blocking. I think we're about to be three and one. This Braum just owned up. I want to find... I was trying to find Howling Abyss or Bandle Tree. Trying to find. Come on in. Good times, good friends. What could be better? All right, now everything can block fearsome. Howling Abyss! Okay, so we know this is a dragon, this is a moon weapon. Um, yeah, we know this is a moon weapon from the last Gifts from, Gifts from Beyond. We know this is the dragon that they made from Eclipse Dragon. And now that's another moon weapon. So they got Stalker. Man, they got a lot of those things. Really want to pass. I think this is fine. The yep. Oh, frostbite. Frostbite. Stand than a troll. <laughs> yeah, I know, poor opponent. I felt bad. Kind of felt bad for him with that. Rek'Sai? Man, this doesn't do anything. <laughs> Alright, we'll take it though. Three and one. Jeez. You once got a level Karma with... Howling Abyss of so round seven at leveled up karma. That's that's pretty awesome. Okay, what do we got? Scion Viego. That sounds like a mini morph deck if I've heard of a mini morph deck. It also sounds like a Braum deck. A good hand. Hmm. Surprise him with. Oh no. Let's say we may surprise him with a ruination. Oh no, they're gonna be playing. If they're just playing Mistrace, that's a huge problem because. Uh, yeah, Mistrace are a big problem. Chemical Is that the telescope noise? I guess so. How does a telescope... Oh, it's this thing. It's like this little... mouse. That's a rough one, pal. Stay safe, my friend. 
a rough one, pal. I could, you know, challenge the Mistwraith for one and then Pokey Stick. I remember back when that thing was a 2-1 challenger. Alright, good Very good Trundle draw. Very good Trundle draw. No, really? Wow. Despair's looking nice. Astounding curiosities fly ahead. Come on, play another mist. Play another wraith caller. No. Come on, play. No. Don't play around ruination. <laughs> yeah, that was that was tough. These mist wraiths and then mist wraiths with the the despairs. That was a good combination against me. It's like lap round two lava legends. I know, basically, right? All right, got more cards out of their hand. So I challenge with the 2-1, get another card out of their hand. That was a good ruination. That worked out pretty well. I don't like war. If this is what passes for war, I don't like it. Alright, so, like, that thing's gonna get mini morphed. So I have four extra mana. I could. Flash Freeze or Tavern Keeper. Warm hearts and hot soup. Now, what a hand they've had, though, huh? Let's talk about your dad. Can I go to three? I don't know, this seems like a. Better plan than going to six and then ha them having additional three three in play still. Die a fool, flee a coward. I hope they can't kill that thing. Let's take a peek at life beneath the waves. The trolls are going to war! Hmm. Man, what a hand. What a hand. Kings can't lose. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was impressive by our opponent that last game. Okay. Uh you know, like cause they had you know, they had all those mysteries, but then they had the despairs. The despairs were so clutch at like killing both Braum and Trundle. And then, you know, just kept on coming with the with the top end there, also with Hydra Vines. Um and you know that eight mana card into a scion with the other scion. That was rough. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't many more I I kinda needed to play the Trundle to be able to block the six six fearsome and just hope they couldn't I mean, yes, I could have mini morphed to the Scion immediately, 
but then I I can't really answer the the six six fear summon, so I really wanted to play the trundle uh, first, and then you know the neck many more of the next round. But they got me, GGs. All right, but that I think that was still a success. Good deck here, Bandle Tree, Howling Abyss. It worked really well. Uh, it did, and you know if we we're gonna put these two cards together, I think that this this deck did work really well. So is this gonna be one of the best decks in the format? No. But we lost to two decks that went super, super big, right? We lost to Aurelian Souls and Scions. Um, you know, they're, they're, those things are hard to stop. Kind of wish we had three mini morphs <laughs> for those things that we were playing against. Um, but that was that was pretty impressive. All right, so that's Bandle Tree Abyss. Still 3-2 record. Not bad. If you're wanting to play a Bandle Tree plus Howling Abyss deck, give this one a try, as always, and let me know how it goes for you. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. Uh, but that's going to be it for this deck. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.